question from Deathbringer, who asks, Hey, Baron, setting up key bindings for Star Citizen is a complete pain in the ass with multiple controllers. I'm using pedals and a hotas. And whenever there's a patch, everything resets. Are there any tips for mapping your controllers? Yes! Yes, and it is a pain in the ass. Keep in mind, all right, so the Star Citizen joystick tool that they have, the control mapper that they've built into Star Citizen is early on. It's a new build. It was released a couple couple patches ago. It doesn't work that great yet. And like you said, every time there's a patch, everything's going to reset, and you're screwed. You're, you're SOL. So what you need is something called an XML file. Um, it's just a file, a text file with an XML extension that Star Citizen reads and um, will automatically bring in all of your correct bindings. You can create these by setting up all your keys in, in Star Citizen and exporting them, or you can use a tool that I'm about to show you that will make your life a billion times easier, especially if you've got multiple controllers. It's called Star Citizen Joystick Mapper, and it's a open program being developed by a guy named BM98, and it will basically take all the pain and frustration out of writing an XML file and very easily allow you to see what's happening and what you have mapped and don't have mapped and uh, create a file that you can save so that every time there's a new patch, you can load it back up and your life will just be f wonderful, fantastic. I'll show you where to get it. So over here, I'm going to give you the link below the YouTube, but it's github.com slash sctoolsfactory. And the program is called Star Citizen Joystick Mapper. As of this video, it is in version 2.7. Now, it's pretty easy to get a hold of. All you need to do is download it. Download the zip, unzip it, whatever you want to. Open up the um, executable file in there, and you have this screen. This looks confusing. It's not confusing. It really isn't. Here's what's going on here. You have on the left a list of every single bindable control in Star Citizen. Oh my god, there's a lot. You don't need all of them, don't worry. I've only got a few of these mapped myself. Um, and here in the middle, you have all of your controllers. Now, I have my Warthog. You're going to see my throttle go up and down here in the Z-axis C rotation. That's my throttle bound. On Joystick 2, I have my SciTech Pro Flight Combat Rudder Pedals. Now, I'm using, um, I'm using the Thrustmaster software to bind my, my sticks together. So I have, I have uh, the joystick and the throttle mapped to one input device. But if you had, say, a CH products throttle and a Thrustmaster joystick, it wouldn't matter for Star Citizen because you could have as many joystick devices as you wanted to. It'd recognize all of them, and you can just switch over, tab over, and and buy thing, bind things, um, and it just makes things super easy. So once you've done all that, once you once you actually go through the, the process of like clicking and figuring out like what key you want assigned to, let's say we'll bind V pitch to, gee, I don't know, anything. Anything other than what it's currently on. I think I'm actually on the right thing for this. But, oh, sign. There we go. Yeah, you actually have to press the thing. I'm trying to press a keyboard button. But you just press the correct button on the joystick that you want to correspond. You press this, you, you click the, the control. You press a sign. You press a button. And it does the thing. Um, once you've done all that, all you need to do is dump the XML. And it will automatically populate a giant XML file that you just need to copy and paste you can you can just click the dump and save my mapping thing um, I just like to, to personally copy and paste into a text file that's that's open it's not necessary but it's what I like to do uh, and it's already formatted everything exactly the way that you want it what you do then is you go to your star citizen install you go to star citizen citizen client data controls and then mappings here's what that looks like star citizen client data Controls, mappings, and you've got all your XML files. I have a ton of different XML files. Um, some of them are made by, by CIG. Some of them are ones that I put in here myself, like the straight map files. You can just open those up. And you see that, that it's already configured the right way. So so you just open that up with a text editor. editor um, and you just replace everything you want in there and then, and then save it. It's that easy. As soon as you have saved that, you'll be available to use. The command you want to use in game is actually so if you have um i save mine to strafe map so in game when you when you press tilde and you open up that console what you're gonna do is just type in 
pp rebind keys and you're gonna have as underscore pp underscore rebind keys and then you're gonna do the file extension that you want so for me that would be strafe map you don't need to do the dot xml you just do whatever you want so uh if that's save under custom bind you just load up custom bind this is the command that you want to enter into star citizen in the console um once you have that set up it's done i highly recommend that you do this i highly recommend that you do this to save yourself a whole lot of frustrations and trouble and it's an easy way to see that everything that is available to bind everything that you haven't bound um what you've got where whatever and if you already have an xml file you can actually import it into um star citizen joystick mapper so i'm gonna put those links down below i recommend that you use them um protect your protect your bindings so that next time there's a patch they don't get wiped out all right that's all for me i'll see you later